Good evening and welcome. We're glad that you joined us tonight as we continue our discussion as being witnesses, sharing our faith with other people. We've been talking about how to share our faith and how to be a witness to other people. And recently we've been talking about not to be surprised when we encounter objections that people don't necessarily um, agree or they have questions. And so we've been talking through that and talking about some of those objections. And tonight I'd like us to talk about the idea that Jesus is the only way. When we share our faith with other people, when we share the good news with other people, um, last week we talked about sometimes it sounds too good to be true, it's a gift, and what do we have to do to earn it? But um, sometimes people say, well, I believe in God, I believe in a higher power of some sort, but um, aren't we all you know, seeking God in different ways, but seeking the same God? Aren't the major world religions all kind of worshiping the same God? And can't this person do it the way they want? And this person over here, um, are, are Christians really the only way to get to heaven? Um, uh, you know, it almost sounds arrogant. Some people might say, you know, you think you're the only way and you're right and everybody else thinks they're right. And, and what really makes Jesus the way? And so we're going to come and encounter that and so tonight I thought let's just take a couple minutes and uh, just read some scripture and talk about that just briefly Jesus is the only way we didn't say that he said that uh, those are God's words it says in John 14 6 I am the way the truth and the life no one comes to the Father except through me so Jesus addresses this these questions that I just raised. Um, how do we get to the Father? How do we get to God? This big supernatural power that people think and talk about throughout the world. Uh, Jesus calls him Father. How do we get to him? Jesus is the only way to the Father. Jesus makes it clear. You can't go through another prophet. You can't go through another teacher, another person. Uh, you can't just figure it out on your own. You have to get to God, the Father, through Jesus Christ. He's saying there's no other way. He is that source. He is that connection. He is that mediator for us to God. People say, well, what about Allah? Or what about the Law and the Prophets? Well, they cannot connect us to God. They might be able to tell us about God. They might be able to come up with a theory or a way to God. But there is only one way to actually connect to God spiritually, and that is through Jesus Christ. You know, we didn't say it. God said it. Said it. So um, Jesus is the way. You notice he didn't say he is a way. He isn't one option. He isn't an option here or an option there. He, you can go through Jesus or you can go through somebody else. No, he is the way. He is the only one that speaks the truth when it comes to this matter. The only way for us to have spiritual life, to be connected to God, is through Jesus Christ. Uh, because Jesus is that way to God. He is the one that can restore life. He's the one who gave his life up for us so that we could have that life. So let's think about this for a moment. Um, Jesus. Why Jesus? Why is he the way? Well, and there are verses that go along with these, but Jesus was the only one that lived a perfect life. If you look at other people that uh, people look to in history that say, well, I'm going to follow this, what this person said or what this person said. Jesus is, was the only one who lived a perfect life. He's the only one who sacrificed himself for our sins. In order for us to have life, death needed to be paid. Jesus is the only one that paid that sacrifice for us so that we could have life with God. He fulfilled the law and prophets. From the very beginning, God had a plan to connect people back to him since the fall of mankind. And the Law and the Prophets talked about how God was going to do this through uh, what he called the Messiah, or the Anointed One, the One of God. The, and Jesus is the one who fulfilled all of those things. Actually, around 353 prophecies of the Old Testament were fulfilled by Jesus um, hundreds of years. These were prophesied before Jesus was born, and Jesus fulfilled all of them. 
Jesus is the only one who conquered death forever. Uh, Jesus raised other people from the dead, but then eventually they died later in life. Jesus is the only one who overcame death forever. So death had to be overcome for us to have life with God forever. Jesus is the only one who did that. Jesus is the only one that's truly a mediator, not just prophet or teacher. He is God. And he is the one who was exalted, lifted from the earth, and went and sits at the right hand of God. He is God. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the way that we get uh, to be with God, how we have a relationship with God. Jesus said he is the only way. So when other people go other ways to try to get to God, they, they fall short. If we think back to Genesis chapter 3, when mankind, after mankind was created, Adam and Eve were in the garden, they fell, they sinned, uh, they knew uh, ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. They were no longer um, connected to God. They spiritually died and were separated from God. They had to leave God's presence. From there, God had a plan to re overcome what Satan did so mankind could eventually be restored back to him. We read that God said, I'll put en enmity between Satan and and the woman, he's talking to, to Satan here, and between your offspring and hers. So from that woman would come an offspring who would eventually crush the head of Satan. So God was going to have a descendant, a son of man that would come. Jesus is that son of man, a descendant of Adam and Eve who would defeat Satan. God decided that he would choose a certain family the family of Abram, who he changed to Abraham, that he would eventually have his son be born through. Eventually these people became known as the Hebrew people. God called himself, I am to them. He has everything that they need. He told them to set up a tabernacle, which laid out who Jesus would be. He spoke through the prophets and told them all these prophecies, as I mentioned, of who uh, who his son would be, this Messiah that would come into the world. Jesus fulfilled all of them. He is God. He's the Messiah. Everything from this point pointed to Jesus. Jesus fulfilled all of these things from the time of creation of the fall. It all pointed to Jesus. That's why he is the way. Now, People try to lift themselves up. Uh, we think, well, what if I do this? Oh, I'm going to do it this way. Or I'm going to do it that way. Mankind cannot connect ourselves to God. In, in Genesis, the, in Babel, people tried to build a tower to be like God. And, and Babylon came from that, which was the gateway of the gods. They introduced all these other gods. Um, Satan was distracting people and trying to get people to believe that there are multiple gods to worship or they could become gods themselves. And, and people got very confused and they tried to elevate themselves. But we cannot do anything to bring ourselves back into relationship with God. We cannot lift ourselves high enough. We talked about that last week. Salvation is a gift from God. None of us are good enough to earn our way into salvation. So that salvation comes through Jesus. Jesus is that gift. Salvation is the fruit of that gift. And so we can't do it and we can't say, I'm coming up with this way or I'm coming up with this way or this guy says we should do it this way or this guy says he knows a way. No, we only go through the one whom God sent who fulfilled all the things God said he would fulfill from the beginning of time, who then would give himself up, his life for us, pay the price of death so that we could have life with God. He is that way. This sin and death, they separate us from God. We can't fix that. We need Jesus. It's not arrogant to think that Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the way he said he was a way he made a way he doesn't just say he's the way he made the way he paved the way for us to be restored to god he didn't just teach about it he gave up his life for us to have that relationship with him I praise god that jesus is the way the truth and the life and so as we share our faith with others in, in truth but in love we must share that 
you know, the world teaches there are all these different ways, but God's drawing us all to him, and Jesus is the way to him. He'll change his li- our lives if we put our trust in him, our faith in him. Lord God, we thank you for this time together tonight. We thank you for your words. We thank you that you are the way, the truth, and the life, that we can put our, all of our hopes and trust in you. We thank you, Lord, that we're not alone. We thank you, Lord, that we are not separated forever from you because you made a way for us to be restored to you. I ask, Lord, that everybody listening, Lord, would trust you, put step in faith and believe that you are the way. Lord, help us to share this. Help us to be able to explain this to other people. Lord, reveal yourself as the way. Reveal yourself as truth in a world that doesn't believe in absolute truth anymore. Reveal yourself as life. And may people experience life through you. I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thanks for joining us tonight. We're so glad that you did. Remember, God loves you, and so do we.